Alright, what's up guys, Luther here, and today we have another snake game. This time we got our week 4 game, and uh, we're going to be playing London 13. Um, now, we're up against the jerk team, which is like, you know, the jerk. But like, um, I was actually surprised to see London starting over Teal, because um, Teal actually played play, uh, pretty decently. Um, however, Teal did beat ABR or something like that in OU last week, so they they decided to keep the, uh, the shifts. And so, London 13 is going to be starting against us. Now, um, yeah, a lot of my team is kind of matchup based. Okay, hold up. Um, and I'll explain it in a second. Um, but um, I I do see Clamperl being matchup based, but the thing is his teams are just so weak to Clamperl. Like the types of stuff he brings is like ridiculous. Like Pony Pony Star, Pharaoh Spritz, um, Mianfu, Volibi. Like that that's like, I could honestly see him bringing that team like to this game right now. Um, but like the point here is um, he doesn't run a lot of priority. And, like, when he does, it's only, like, a Diglett Sucker Punch or, like, a Fake Out from Yanfu. So, like, that's why I'm running this Clamp Roll set specifically. So, he's got Shell Smash with uh, Surf Protect and HP Fire for the Fairy Seed. Um, pretty uh, standard there. And then everything else is, like, pretty straightforward from there. Um, we got, like, 15 Defense Timber with Ice Punch. We got, like, uh, Memento Diglett. It's actually going to be Z Diglett. And that's going to be um, pretty nice for trapping annoying stuff. Um... Not sure, not sure much else to explain. Well, I have a defensive Volby. Yeah, I know. I know what you guys are thinking. Holy crap, Luther actually brought a Volby. Yeah, I did. Um, after three weeks and into the fourth week, I've decided to bring a Volby. So we got the Defog, HP Fighting Volby. Um, now, I have the spread. It's like a bit bulky, but it also has enough um, enough investment such that knockoff into HP Fighting will be able to knock out any Ponyard. Oh, my God. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is uh, it's a pretty standard team. Uh, Clamperl team, at least. And then we got Explosion on Onyx, just to, like, chip away any annoying stuff. But, like, yeah. Um, HP Fighting on Volby is going to be for Ponyard and stuff like that. But, like, um, this team is, like, primarily weak to, like, Sash, Abra's, and um, Gastly's. And the thing is, um, I don't think anyone would bring that against me, especially after I brought three diglets in the first three weeks and a munch last last week so i'm ex expecting a lot of physical um physical mods and that's why i uh, wanted to bring the hp fighting on my volibi so um if i see any mianfu i'm actually going to lead off with my fungus because i don't lead off with uh lead off against like 13 speed mianfu that well so anyways um let me just look over everything see if everything is cool got beat up on diglet yeah uh yep 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 and yep, so we're just gonna get right in and see what's going to happen. Have fun. He brought Carvana. What the heck? <laughs> he brought Carvana. Are you joking me? Um, <laughs> that's so whack. But I'm telling you, dude, he he loves that Pharaoh Spritz type stuff. Like I don't. <laughs> it's so whack. Um. Anyways, well, Clamperl absolutely demolishes him. I literally just set up on Spritzy and I win the game, like near instantly, actually. Um. Anyways. Um. Hmm. So like, okay, with the thing with Carvana is, um, hmm. Okay, well we haven't imported. So, anyways, as I said, um, the thing that wins is Clamperl. Clamperl kills Spritzy, kills Volibi. I think kills everything here at plus one. Um, so even if I get like defense dropped with like the Spritzy, I should be in a good position. My timber is pretty pretty nice once I get a Spritzy. It's even nice because like I can just go and uh, go into my timber. And like wait for him to go to the spritzy right and then just uh go there uh on the timber memento my diglet and set up and win with my clamp roll like that that's fine as well um and yeah i feel uh, wow that's actually hilarious thank you taz for mentioning that but like i feel like this is going to come down to some sort of double protect shenanigans on the carvana which is going to be annoying because you know that ugh, that's just the game <laughs> like there's not much else to say um Let's see, what's good here? I think my Volibees are pretty decently, but the thing I said about the Mianfu, I don't want that to happen. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm thinking maybe Core Breaker Vol, uh, standard Mianfu, like 13 speed Pivoter. Ferris Spritz is pretty standard as well. Um, probably going to be a Violet Diglett. I'm not sure. It could be a Violet or it could be um, Z-Move. I don't see it being Scarf though at all i don't think scarf is one um something i should go for but like okay you know what i'm gonna make this i'm gonna make this um 
Should I? Okay, you know what? I decided right now, I'm just... Okay, so let's say my Clamp Roll is at plus two, and he goes into his Carvana to revenge kill me. The turn one, I'm going to click Shell Smash no matter what. I promise I'm going to do that at, at this game. If, if the game comes down to that, I will do that. So I'm just going to say that right now, and uh, we're going to stick with that throughout the entire game. Um, I'm just going to lead off with the Fungus, as I said. I don't want to lead off... Okay, he leads off with the Volby, which is fine. Um, this gives me my Onyx, though, which is pretty fine. Um, and get up rocks. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for the knockoff. Now, I'm going to actually calc that damage to see if it's Core Breaker or whatnot. Um, Volibee. Uh, weak Armor Pivot. Onyx. Custom Set. So, it's not Core Breaker. So, it's going to be a sort of defensive variant with Defog. Um, because of the damage right there. Um, it ended up doing 19. Um, okay, I'm just going to get up Rocks here because... Rocks in general are nice for pressuring out his Volibee in the future. So I'm just going to get up Rocks here as he does go into Fair Seat. Now, this is what I've been saying. Like, I think I just sit up here and win. I'm I'm really sure that like, that's my play here. So I'm just going into my Timber here. Um, even if he goes in uh, to a Spritzy on a double or whatever. Um, yeah, so like, I definitely think this is my play. As long as his Manfu isn't whack. Um, hmm. But, like, I also want to save this timber for later, you know? Against, uh, like, uh, the Carvana as, like, a safety check. So, I feel like the play isn't just to sack it off immediately. I don't know. Um, as he just gets up South Rocks. And, hmm, I want to double <laughs> to my Diglett on a Spritzy and to try to keep my timber alive and that way set up on Spritzy, but I don't think that's a play. So, I'm just going to Drain Punch here. Like, that's fine. Um... I also might not want rocks up, so that way I'm better off against like Sucker Punch Diglett if that's what he is. Um, he could be Life Orb too, who knows? Uh, but I'm just gonna click Drain Punch for free. Like, there's not much of a loss if I do. Um, yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> I just don't want to like lose to like some double protect on Carvana kind of stuff. I just go with Mianfu. This is gonna take a bit. I just took 37. That did nothing. Um, uh, Mianfu. Bulky attacker on the timber. Okay. Um, well, I think it... Okay, let's say max HP. And if it's max HP, I could have low rolled or it could be 15. I think it's probably 15. I'm going to lead more with the 15 defense. And I'm just going to go to Volibee here because it covers a fake out um, along with the double. So I'm just going to go to Volibee. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, I don't die to high jump kick. Um, one, because I'm bulky. And two, because this is like defensive. Um, I want to keep this timber alive, as I said earlier. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I think Volibee is actually really, really nice in this game too. So like he's going to go for the fake out. And then, um, or knockoff, or whatever he decides to go for. I just go for a free Brave Bird um, by that. Let's see. Let's see what it does. It does go for the knockoff. Pretty fine play on his part. Um, all right, let's see what we can do here. Um, uh, I think this Volby is kind of... It's like okay in this game. The thing is like if this is HP Grass Volby for some random reason, then I'm in a bad position. So I'm just gonna toss his Volby out. Like I had a timber to check his Carvana. I don't think I need the Volby for much else anyways. And I don't see him like giving me his Mianfu, right? Plus, if you guys just pretend you can just sit up set up there. Um, um I'm just gonna defog. And I'm also gonna pay attention. Um yeah, I'm gonna defog here. I just go Volby. So, 76. Nice. Um, it is 76. What does that mean? Let us see. 76 means that he's going to be 25 defense. Or, sorry, 25 HP. So, it's probably going to be a Spadef uh, Volibee. Nice, nice, nice. Um, hmm. I mean... Let's see, like, what happens if he loses a Volby? If he loses a Volby, he loses a Defogger, right? And I can just keep rocks up and keep pressuring by that. Like, I lose my Defogger on the same note. Um, do you think... I don't know if he's going to cl click Brave Bird here. Because that gives me free rocks, but that also gives him free rocks. So I'm, not, I'm not really sure what he's going for. I kind of want to just go for the knockoff. 
Um, I feel like that might be a little aggressive play, so I'm just going to go into Onyx here. Um, as he goes for a U-turn, yeah, that's why I want to click knockoff. I thought he was going to go for something like that. Um, however, if he does go into Mianfu, I think I'll still be fine. Like, Fer Ferris, or, sorry, Fungus, he doesn't really need it to Violet as long as I keep my Timber healthy enough. Um, or vice versa, like, if, if I keep my Fungus healthy enough, I don't need the Violet. Um, hmm. On, uh, Timber, yeah. Uh... I mean, I think I always go Fungus here. Like, I don't have a choice. Yeah, I'm just gonna... He might just go for knockoff, but it's fine. This goes for high uh, jump kick, which is nice. Uh, but this gives me a free spore. Um, if he lets me take his Mianfu, then I'm in a great position. If he just goes into his Pharisee, I have my Vullaby still. Um, as he reveals Overcoat Vullaby, what? Okay, so he's Overcoat Vullaby with Pharisee. Um, I'm assuming that's for HP Fire Pharisee, which is nice. Um... Dude, I know he's going for a U-turn, <laughs> like, 100%, but, like, yeah, again, the Volby is, like, somewhat expendable, right? So, I'm just gonna go to my Volby. What if this is HP Grass or something? I can't risk that. So, I'm just going to my Volby. I just go for a Brave Bird, and that does not knock me out. And this is nice, because since I know he's, um, he is Overcoat, I can just go for the knockoff, because I know I shouldn't be, uh, afraid of some sort of, like, weak armor trigger, or anything along those lines. So, that is one very good thing. Um... Let's see. <laughs> I still think... Okay, you know what? Um, I'm going to calc this real quick. So, like, okay. Uh, spritzy. Spritzy. Let's say defensive, right? Um, Clamperl. Shell Smash. Moonblast um, at minus two. Because of Memento. It'll be doing six HP. Let's just assume six HP. And let's hope he doesn't get certain from max roll or whatever. Right? So, six HP from that. And then... Um, Oh, crap. No, no, no. I'm at minus one to sped up. Nice. So, it's going to be doing 9 HP. Nice. So, he'll be doing 9 HP with the Moonblast and then from a Diglett. Um, he's at 21, right? Diglett, Sucker Punch, will be doing 6. No. Oh, wait. No, I'm bad. Oh, wait. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right? So, it does 9 and then another 9. So, I'll be at 18. Uh, what do you go for? You went for a U-turn. Nice. But we got the Volby knocked off, which means our uh, our Timber could be better later in the game. Um, anyway, so... Um... I mean... Yeah. The only way I see myself losing this is if this, like, Spritzy is... Trick Room. Um, I want to get Rocks up because... What the heck? Okay, he goes into Carvana. Um, well, I just always have to go to Timber, right? Like, I don't have a choice, but like, um, mm, hmm, okay, because like, he's going into, okay, the reason he's not going to Spritz is because that's Trick Room, like, now I know for sure. I'm like fairly certain it's Trick Room now. I'm going to click knockoff here as he does go spritzy. Now we can just like reveal the damage. It did 11. So it's, um, it's at 89. Um, um, 89. That is wish tact. It's not offensive. Okay. So that's nice. That's actually some pretty, uh, nice information to know. Um, uh, let's see. Again, I don't want rocks up. So like, there's that. Um, you know what? I'm going to say screw it and just go for it. I know. I feel like that's a little preemptive. Um, let's see. Because, like, the thing is, I don't want rocks up. I want rocks off the field. Or else I could lose from Moonblast into Sucker on Diglett. So, like, I think my play actually might be just staying. I'm not sure here. Uh, because getting rocks up means I could lose the game, right? So like, I don't think I can ever go into anything that lets it happen. So I'm just gonna go into my Diglett here, and let's see if he stays in. He does go into Volibee. That's whack. Um, 
Yeah, I want to go to the ice punch there. Uh, that's that's annoying. That's really annoying. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna keep be able to keep rocks off the field then. What can I do to keep rocks off? Like I can go timber here, but like I need the timber for like the Carvana. So like I don't think I have a choice. I think I have to go timber. Because if rocks are up, I could lose a sucker dig. Oh, I think I have to go temper here. Crap. That's annoying. That's really stupid. Um, but, like, I think he's always going for a U-turn anyway, so it's, like, fine. Um, let's see. I also think he could be scouting for a possible, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, what's it called? I'm, I'm blanking now. Um, a possible rock slide, because that could also be a rock slide. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, I already know how the game's gonna come down. It's it's literally gonna come down to me um, getting the protect. It doesn't matter what he goes for. It's just go for the Brave Bird, which is fine. Um, again, this gives me a uh, mock punch here. I don't really care because as long as I prevent rocks from going up with Ferris Seed, I am good. Um, and I just have to keep mock in the back and I'll be fine. Because, like, um, if I get rocks up, then. The Moonblast plus the Sucker Punch for Diglett could knock me out. And, like, I have to just be aware of that at all times, um, unfortunately. Hmm. He does go into Mianfu here, um, which is marginally annoying. But, like, I think I just go into Onyx and Explode. Um... Yeah, I think so too. So I'm just gonna go to Onyx here and just click Explosion. Um, what does he go for? This goes for the high jump kick. Now, oh wait, what did I just do? Wait, oh no, I did not mean to click that. Oh crap, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Oh, I did not mean to click that. Oh, I meant, oh, I meant to click Go Fungus. Wait, what did I do? Oh, okay, okay. All right, I think we still can with this. Um, Crap, crap. Okay, I'm gonna go. I have to go to Timber here because I don't want to get rocks up. He's gonna go for U turn, anyways. Um, oh, wow, that was bad. That was bad. I don't know why I did that. That was really bad. Um, okay, I, it's coming down to speed time now. Yeah, okay, this was bad. I don't know what, what I was doing. That's poor. Um, is he gonna spritzy? I'm just gonna go for an ice, ice punch. What does he do? He covets me. Which is okay. Oh, wait. I can go. I'm going to go Diglett here. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, my God. He went to Vullaby. Why is he, why is he throwing? Why do you go for a covet there? That was such a misplay. Okay. Whatever. Um. Well, beat up should be able to knock this out. Um. Holy crap. That was such a misplay on my part. I don't know why I sacked Onyx. That, that was such a bad play. Oh, no. Okay. I feel like it might come down to speed tie, possibly. Who knows? Um. Okay, this should this should definitely kill. Come on, thank you. Um. As he does go into Mianfu here now. Um, I could memento up on this thing. Like, that could also be plausible, since I am HP fire. Um. Let's see. Hmm. What do I think he's going for? I mean, high jump kick is pretty free, right? Or U-turn also works. I'm trying to think what he could go for, because... Because if he goes for U-turn, then I can win with my timber. Or win with my um, clamp roll. Um, I'm just gonna go timber here. Let's see what he does. U turn. Is it just goes for fake out? Um. Wait, I think I might be able to win now. I'm just gonna go my diglet and try to win with this. Hopefully, we can see what happens. Um, I don't think I have a choice. I played this so poorly. This is so bad. Um, I think I just have to memento this then. Yeah, this is very poorly played. 
Um. Holy crap. Um. Alright, I'm just gonna shell smash here. Let's see what happens. Like, okay, this was very, very poorly played on my part. It just goes for the knockoff. Now, I think I'm gonna go for... Okay, I'm just gonna protect here. Let's see what he goes for. Um, I mean, I think I just surf, actually. Well, do I win if I go for another shell smash? Let's think. I think I have to protect, whatever. Let's see what he goes for. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up. We have some time now. Um, I'm just going for a surf here. Hold up. I need more time to think. I want to shell smash here. I think shell smash is in the play. Uh, no, I'm just going to surf. It's fine. This does go for spritzy. Spritzy. Man, I want to shell smash there. Let's see. I think Mianfu, because it's 15 defense, still dies. Um, oh, this dies. Bye-bye. Get out of here. Get out of here. Bye-bye. <laughs> um. Alright. Hold up. Let me see how much Mianfu does to me. Bulky attacker. Uh, Clan Pearl at minus one. Fake out does five HP. Right? Yo, wait. This dies. This dies hella. Right? Carvana. How much time do I have left? Okay, I have 26 seconds. Yeah, bro, this dies. This should die. Okay, hold up. We're at plus two and no tooth. Let's see how much... Oh, yeah. Surf, uh, surf kills us a lot of the time. What is he doing? Okay, well, I'm going to go for surf here. Oh, crap. Wait, I promised at the beginning I was going to go for this. Crap. Shoot. Alright, I'm, I'm surfing here. It's fine. Because, like, he needs, to, he needs to win the double protect and the double speed tie. And okay, there, there we go. Nice, 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 bros. There's no way. Okay, I played this so poorly. I'm so sorry, you guys had to sit through this. I don't know what I was doing at all. This is so poorly done. Clamperl, how much does that do to Mianfu? Because I know it's not spit F. It's got to be all in HP. Yeah, I think it kills from the range that it's at. But even if it doesn't. I think um, I should be fine with my Fungus. So I'm just going to protect here or whatever. This goes for the fake out. I can just go for the surf here. Oh my god, it dropped. Holy crap. This is so poorly played. Oh, jeez. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back and talk over this. Because this was disgusting. This is very awfully played. I'm not proud of how to play this at all. Okay. Alright, hold up, hold up. Okay, wait, this is really, really poorly played. I don't know what I was doing. Um, let's go back and revisit this. So, anyways, off the matchup, um, crap, dude, I had HP Fire, HP Fire Fungus. I should have honestly kept it because ugh, I don't know why I changed it last second. Anyways, um, jeez. Oh, um, anyway, so, this Volby was really annoying for me. I should have knocked it off. That was the play I messed up. Anyways, so, we got a Brox here, which is fine. Um, the thing is... Him getting rocks up was very, very annoying for me, right? And I should have just stuck with my game plan when I realized it, um, turn one. But anyway, so, like, we just go for the Drain Punch here or whatever. That's okay, that's okay. All this is fine until, like, this portion right here. Like, at, at turn number six, I should have gone for the, or turn number seven, I should have gone for the knockoff. Because Volby was really, really annoying for me to deal with. But either way, U-turns, um, go to my Fungus, whatever. The thing is, um... Pharaoh Spritz is really, really annoying for me because I didn't have HP Fire on the Fungus. Like, I over-prepped um, for everything. Like, I, I prepped fine, but, like, the not having HP Fire on um, Fungus was a really poor decision on my part. Um, I should have changed it. But here, I should have... He went, I went for the knock. I should have... I doubled the Diglett here, which is fine. Um, and then uh, I, I still agree with my play going turn 14 into Timber because... If he got up in rocks with Pharisee, I was in a very, very poor position, right? Um, anyway, so I just go for the mock punch there or whatever. Um, go into my... Okay, that's <laughs> that's where I went to Onyx. I don't know what I was thinking. I literally meant to go into my Fungus and then double into my Onyx on the U-turn. Or double into my Timber on the U-turn. Because, again, as I said, my I had I had to prevent this Pharisee from getting up rocks. Because once a Pharisee got up rocks, I died from a Moon Blast into a um, Sucker Punch for Diglett, right? And that's what I was, I've was i been saying this entire time. Um, 
and then anyway so i go to u-turn there whatever ice punch this is where i also messed up i should have just gone hard at the diglet here like i i should just set up on the spritzy because spritzy setup was pretty free um either way like he he played i think london played this very very well um obviously i had matchup from the beginning um and i feel bad for playing it like this but um <laughs> that's all it really is um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this um clamperl is a beast um it's so fun to play with and it's so such a good mod but yeah uh, i hope you guys enjoy this and i will see you guys next week peace